We are going to continue our video on Bible 101. This will be Bible 101 10. And of course, as the others, it will go into the seminary folder. Now, where we left off in the Old Testament, we're going now to a section called Wisdom. Now, that involves a great deal in the Old Testament, uh, wisdom literature, uh, but there is so much of it, but let's find out a little bit about it. For example, when we begin with wisdom, it says, uh, in the language of the wisdom books, there is a living heritage of wisdom based on knowledge of God and his creation. This language speaks more to the individual than to the nation. What is the destiny of each individual? How can we do to find, what can we do to find the destiny? And how can we fulfill it uh, at once? It is found. King Solomon himself typifies wisdom and is the most ancient section of the Proverbs uh, is attributed to him. Now, many of the wisdom books, uh, uh, one of the most famous, of course, is the book of Psalms, and they are most uh, famous, and they show also a great variety. Now, speaking about the Psalms, of course, the Psalms, when you look at them, have many, many types and they can be divided into types uh, because of where they were written, who wrote it, and what the circumstances they were written under. But let, let's take a quick look at uh, what we know about the Psalms in relationship to wisdom literature. It says, uh, Psalms are songs of the Hebrews. Some of them we used in worship. Uh, they were a great variety. Some personal, some for community, some are for private meditation, and some are for corporate worship. They speak about many of the languages of the Bible we know, but are always written in a special language of Hebrew poetry. Hebrew poetry isn't rhyme words as such, and it is rhyme parallel or contrasting meaning units. It is a poetry of meanings. It sometimes uh, reinforces some meanings. It sometimes contrasts some meanings. It sometimes encloses central ideas in the beginning and ending parallels. It even uses the Hebrew alphabet uh, to begin each line. Now that's an acrostic psalm. So you see the Psalms are um, put in almost like a sandwich with different ends of bread and what's in the middle for different ways. Uh, that's why the Psalms are so interesting if you actually get a good translation like Robert Alter's translation and commentary on the Psalms. Um, this subject includes royal Psalms. Now that's one of the types of Psalms like those about King David, for example. Uh, processional psalms or treks to the temple, uh, celebrations of holidays, laments, both personal and community, praise and thanksgiving, wisdom, life and death, man and God. Psalms are honest expressions of human emotions before God, which brings healing in their expression and in their waiting for answers. Any person can find a psalm that can express their situation in life and their feelings openly and honestly. They are songs of our common humanity lifting us into the presence of God as a burden is lifted from the shoulders. Psalms are part of Eastern and Western Catholic worship and most Protestant churches. They are always sung or intoned, as the word goes, like in Gregorian chant, for example. There are special psalm tones 
and psalms have been rewritten metrically for formal singing. Metrical psalms have many eras of great uh, collections uh, to study and use. Now, psalms are used for special seasons in the church here, for example. Penitential psalms are used during Lent. Certain psalms are for morning and some are for evening worship. Uh, and now, when I actually give you psalms and quote a psalm, I am going to be using one of the Bibles I got when I graduated from seminary, and it is called the Jerusalem Bible. The Jerusalem Bible is unique not only in its translation, but in how the um, words, phrases, lines, paragraphs relate to each other in other parts of the Bible. Uh, so I have chosen that out of many of the other types of Bible I could have chosen. Uh, but when I quote, unless I tell you differently, what I quote will be from what's called the Jerusalem Bible. Now, if any of you are interested in looking up that Bible, you may get the Jerusalem Bible. Also, I, if it's Psalms, I would also like you to get the Robert Alter, A-L-T-E-R, a book of Psalms, because his translation, I think, is better than any that I have. Uh, so uh, when we continue, what we're going to do is give an example uh, of Psalm 1, because it sets the tone for the whole book of Psalms. Yeah, and what I say here is, see if you can feel the reinforcement of some idea units and contrasting units in parallel phrases or in the style of Hebrew poetry. Now, when I read this, it will be read from the Jerusalem Bible when we continue. <laughs> 